welcome back once again in this video we are going to take another example of how to solve quadratic inequalities okay so taking example two we have been asked to solve the quadratic inequality x squared minus x minus 12 greater than zero so like we said earlier on we take our expression Factorize the left hand side of the expression into factors. So, factorizing this using any factorization method we know gives us x minus 4 by x plus 3 greater than 0. So, our next step is to draw or sketch a graph where we can sketch that graph when we transform this into what? An equation to so this giving us an equation of x minus 4 so, um, x plus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so we find the roots. This one gives us x equals 4, and this also gives us a root of x equals negative 3. Okay, so with this, we can sketch our graph okay so we locate our roots that's negative three and four on our graph now how would this graph look like we consider the coefficient of what the x squared which is positive so we have a minimum curve which goes this way Okay, now negative 3, 4, there. So now we pick either values left or right or within the graph. The one that satisfies the inequality expression here becomes a solution set. <clears throat> and it's always kind of easier using what? The origin. So here x is 0 <clears throat> at the origin. So we pick it or we place 0 here. We are going to get negative 4, we place 0 here, we are going to get 3. A negative 4 by 3 gives us a negative 12. And there is no way negative 12 can be greater than what? 0. So this portion of the graph does not satisfy the inequality expression here. So if this side does not satisfy the other regions do satisfy what? The inequality expressions. Now we can also see that this is greater than it has no bar attached to it, so negative 3 and 4 itself are not part of what the solution set. So we are going to write our solution set as except that we have x belonging to negative 3 and below. So we have that as this in interval form union that is in addition to this greater than 4. So 4 itself is not part, so we use a bracket and we are going to what positive infinity. So this is how we write our solution set in interval form. Now also try to write it in the simple form that is writing it as when we are convergent if we use it we have um, x which is less than negative three okay or x greater than four. So any of these solution sets will do. Okay. So let's add a mutation correctly. So any of them signify the same what solution set. So I hope this is also helpful. So you can try other what solutions for.
quadratic inequalities in many of the textbooks that we have available. We end today's video here to meet again. Goodbye.